Hey, this is Terratoots with a quick introduction to the user interface in Terrigen Sky. When you open Terrigen Sky, the first thing you'll see is this central viewport showing your sky and lots of surrounding panels that control the clouds and atmosphere. First, let's see what we can do with the viewport. To start off, left clicking the sky is going to change the sun position. You can put the sun up high for a daytime shot or lower down for an evening or sunset shot. You can even put the sun below the horizon for dusk and dawn images. The current sun elevation and heading are shown here in the sun direction panel at the top left. This panel is also useful for moving the sun outside of the current view, behind the camera for example. The left mouse button defaults to controlling the sun, but also controls two other tools, which can be selected at the top here. Choose Exposure and click and drag to make the image brighter or darker. The Camera Zoom tool will let you drag to zoom the camera in or out. Next, let's take a look at navigation. To rotate the camera, middle click and drag. Alternatively, you can hold the Alt key and left click. To move the camera from side to side, hold Alt and right click. This will also let you move the camera up and down. You'll notice the camera position and orientation are displayed in the bottom left here. To reset the camera to the default position, press the Escape key. The right side panel holds the sky parameters, where you can add and modify cloud layers. For example, we can change the third cloud layer to be low-level stratocumulus clouds. The cloud layers are also connected to the cloud height diagram on the left side of the screen, which shows the altitude and thickness of the different layers. This diagram is also handy for adjusting the cloud layer altitudes. As well as the altitude of the camera. The right side also contains a few more useful tools. The Presets tab contains a nice collection of presets, allowing you to quickly find a starting point close to the type of sky that you are after. For example, we can choose a sunny day preset with relatively clear skies, or a darker dawn or dusk preset. The Render tab has settings for setting the resolution and quality of your rendered image and you can choose to either render the current viewport or a full spherical image. Once you click Render, your image will render from the center outwards until it is complete. The Export tab has tools for exporting your sky back to Terrigen as either a clip file or a scene file, as well as the controls for LiveSend 360. LiveSend 360 is a neat feature that allows you to send the viewport preview to another program as it updates, for example, to light a scene in Unreal. It's closely related to the four preview modes in the top right, and the 360 panorama at the top of the screen. The preview modes control the order in which Terrigen Sky renders the preview. The first mode, Camera, only renders the camera view, and is useful for preparing a single viewport render. Camera Plus renders the camera view first, and the 360 surrounding second. 360 Plus renders the entire 360 at a low resolution first, then comes back to update the camera view at a higher resolution second. The 360 mode previews the entire 360 view at a uniform rate, and is useful when the priority is to light a scene as quickly as possible, for example when using Sky with a virtual stage or volume. Terrigen Sky is still in early access, so there are a few features that aren't yet implemented. The Paint tab at the top is a big example of this. 
and I'm interested to see how it turns out in the future. Stay tuned. <laughs>